Well, after a tense few months, an agreement has been made between the city of Bemidji and Bemidji area schools. Uh, Josh Peterson was at last night's work session and has more on what the approved agreement entails. After months of discussion and planning, the city of Bemidji at its work session approved an agreement with Bemidji area schools that through a cost sharing measure would be in charge of the water and sewer lines that will run to the new Gene Dillon Elementary School. It was an $80,000 uh, potential cost that the city was looking at and the council approved that. Through the agreement, the school district would pay to install the water and sewer lines. But once the school connects to city services, the city would then take over the utility lines. The desire to put water and sewer stubs and to put a little money into cost sharing some of the water and sewer main extension west of Adams with the school district. Along with the agreement, the city council also approved a measure that would allow the city to seek an orderly annexation of four properties north of Division Street leading up to the new school. Last November, the council agreed not to annex the school site until it is connected to city services. We have to meet with Grant Valley Township leaders and have a conversation with them as far as uh, expectations of the city and the township on the overall annexation of that area. By the end of the work session, Bemidji Superintendent of Schools expressed his gratitude and appreciation for the city's cooperation. We will look forward to moving ahead with this and, and uh, constructing a, a, a great school that will also be a great addition to the city of Bemidji. While the ground remains froze and covered with snow, the landscape west of Bemidji will begin to change dramatically come spring. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. For the orderly annexation to start, the city will need to meet with the Grand Valley Township. The properties are expected to be annexed into the city by the time the new Gene Dillon Elementary School opens. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.